How's it going? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to not make chlorine gas. The first thing you're going to need is any fertilizer with ammonium nitrate, ammonical nitrogen, or ammonium nitrogen. It doesn't really matter. They all do the same thing. Fertilizer and chemists just kind of go together. I don't know why, but it seems like every chemist has a, made a video about fertilizer at least once. So like most of my videos, I try and make it so everyone can do it at home as well. I'm using a hot plate and a beaker here, but you don't really need to use those. I'm just doing that because it looks cooler and I have a magnetic stirrer, so it's going to speed up the process of stirring. Now, I'm not making any exact measurements because it doesn't really matter, mainly because I'm not trying to perfect making chlorine gas. I'm just trying to show how it would be done. So I'm kind of just throwing a random amount of fertilizer and water together and hoping that it dissolves. After about 30 seconds, most of the solution had dissolved, and it's kind of just this milky, clear liquid. Now, how I'm going to be making this chlorine gas is really simple, and if you don't have any of the tools that I'm using, I've already made a video on how you can do this at your house. I'll be putting that link in this video's description. So setting that aside, I'm going to grab a Dremel. Like I said, if you don't have any of these tools, just skip ahead a bit and watch the video on how to do this. Next, I'm grabbing this random piece of wood. It doesn't really matter what you're using as long as it's not super thick. I just grabbed this half an old pine wood derby card that I had. Now, I'm drilling two holes in it. That way I can stick my electrode and my anode in. If you don't know what the process I'm using is, it's called electrolysis, I think. I don't really know how to pronounce it. That might be it. See so here, I'm just putting these two drywall screws in. I chose these because they have a large surface area and that's going to make the reaction work a lot faster. I don't really know why I did that. I mean, I'm not trying to necessarily make a lot of it. So probably a bad decision. After that, I went and I took this old charger apart that I used to have. I'm going to strip it and expose the wires so I can connect those to my anode and my cathode. Also, at this point, if you don't want to ruin one of your chargers, just go watch the other video that I did this on. I didn't break anything in the process of doing that. Like I said, I put that video's link inside this video's description. So now grab one of your drywall screws and just wrap the wire around it. This isn't a perfect science, you're just trying to connect the wires to the anode and cathode. It's a bit messy, but that doesn't really matter because I'm not trying to make this process efficient. I'm just trying to show you how it's done. Now, I don't know any of the science behind this and I have no idea how it works. I just asked ChatGPT what would happen if I put fertilizer in water and then use electrolysis on it. It said one of the byproducts was chlorine gas. I thought that'd be sick and I wanted to make a video on it, so I am. So my water was a bit short, so I added a little bit more. That way my anode and cathode could touch and electrolysis could perform. Now, this is the part of the video where I gotta say that this is dangerous and you shouldn't try it at home. But I know that just blows right past most of you guys and you're gonna do it anyways. So at least wear a mask and gloves when you're doing this. Once you've got everything set up, just plug your charger in. And if you've done everything right, where it's just really hard to mess this up, and you're probably stupid and shouldn't be making this if you did it wrong, you're going to see bubbles form. That's from that anode and cathode. This is the electrolysis process. It's pretty much separating something. I don't really know how it works, and it's making chlorine gas. Pretty cool.